Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. One day I was just talking to my younger brother and I casually voiced my worriedness and my anxiousness toward the future. I told him that I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do after I graduate from school. Will I get a job? If so, what kind of job? Like I know the general path I want to go down after getting my bachelor's and I know that ideally I would like to pursue something in the future that combines science and business and there's a lot of options out there such as in the pharmaceutical industry. But still, since I'm going down this less conventional path, then I'll the other science major that I know, which concludes to basically pre-med, pre-dental, pre-pharmacy, pre-autometry, pre-law, just basically pre-professional school or getting a PhD to become a researcher, I can't help but wonder if I am on the right path sometimes. I know a major thing on my channel revolves around alternative careers because I am a firm believer in that there's so many amazing careers out there away from the traditional prestige careers. I even have a full playlist called Career Talks on my channel where I talk about alternative careers, how I feel about my science degree, you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. And if you're also like me, you're in university, you're also trying to figure out what to do with your life, what to do after you graduate from school, what kind of career path you want to go down, then I hope this video can give you some ideas, give you some tips to help you map things out. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, I will get started with the video. I think my first tip is to be honest with yourself. I know this sounds like a no-brainer, but what I I found is that a lot of people just lack that self-awareness, especially when it comes down to making a big life decision such as choosing your career path. I know many of us, including myself, are inclined to ask our family, ask our friends' opinion when it comes down to decisions like these. And I think this is great because getting other people's opinions on different careers can often round out our shortcomings in our own logic sometimes. However, since everyone's opinion is different, everyone's goals are different, we will naturally have different opinions on different careers. So it is important to be careful to not take other people's opinion as directly your own. I think this especially happens with family members Maybe your parents are doctors, so they also want you to become a doctor. Or your parents always wanted to become a doctor, but they didn't end up going down that path. So now they want you to fulfill their dream. I know I'm lucky in the sense that my parents gave their full support to me choosing my own school, my own major, my own career path that I want to go down. But I also recognize that there are a lot of people born in more conservative households where becoming a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a dentist are the only occupations that their parents know that pays a decent salary. I understand that and I do agree that money is a big part for a lot of people when choosing a career but it just can't be everything. Like if you're genuinely interested in those careers, by all means, definitely go for it. But if you're only in it for the money, I can't imagine how much pain that will result from the years of dreading schooling and years of unsatisfying work. Just imagine one day you turn 60 and you're retiring but you've done over 30 years of unsatisfying work that you have no genuine interest in it at all and you were only only in it for the money. I have a lot of pre-med friends because I'm in a science program, but when I ask them why they want to become a doctor or a dentist, exclude the ones that are genuinely interested in the occupation, a lot of them seems to be doing it for other people. I will hear responses like, because other people will be disappointed in me if I don't become a doctor, because other people think that I will be a great doctor, because what else can you do if you don't become a healthcare professional and you major in science? Oh, there's also the because I want to help people, which is a super valid reason. But like what I mentioned in another video of mine, you don't have to become a doctor to help people. So why do you insist on becoming a doctor then. I understand a career path is genuinely not a linear process and that's especially true for people that want to pursue outside of the traditional career path and I think it could be the fear of unknown, the fear of not knowing what's out there, the fear of falling behind that are stopping people from exploring outside of the traditional careers. Personally, I do think the career path for the less traditional career is worth it since I have no genuine interest in any of those traditional careers and also have you ever taken a different route going back home and you end up discovering more fun places, more beautiful scenery and it became much more fulfilling from taking that different route. However, it is probably still better to have a general sense 
a general direction of where you're going, even though you're trying to take that non-traditional path, which leads to my second point. My second point is that not only do you have to be honest about the true intention of why you want to go down that career path, you also need to know your strengths and your weaknesses. Personally, I think it will be the best to pursue something that you're genuinely interested in, something that had a decent ROI, return on investment, meaning that in the future, it will generate a decent amount of salary to pay off your investment in money and your time. And also something that you're decent in. You don't have to be an expert in it, but it should be something that you have done reasonably okay in the past. For example, like what I mentioned in another video, I picked bio and chem because I was genuinely interested in it and I was also decent at it back in high school and first year of university. And gradually, I've also picked up an interest in business. So now I'm trying to pursue something in the future that combines all of my strengths and my interested areas together. So maybe sit down with a pen and a paper, write down all of your strengths, both your soft and technical skills. And if you're having trouble doing this, you can ask a close friend or family members to identify some of your strengths. Okay, let's talk about major. I know choosing a major often ties with choosing a career path. It is unfortunate that we have to make such a big decision at the age of 18. And I know a lot of us are often anxious about whether or not if we chose the right major. But like what I said, if the major you chose is something that you're genuinely interested in, something that you're decent at, then I don't see how wrong it can be. Because the thing is, a lot of us, and I mean a lot of us, will end up working in a job in the future that is completely unrelated to our respective major right now. For example, in one of my other videos, I've expressed that I might end up working in a more business-related career in the future, even though I majored in science. But I have no regrets going down the science path because that's what I was interested in at the time and that's also what I was good at at the time when it comes to picking out a university program. And I would say that the soft skills learned in my science major will certainly benefit no matter what career path I end up going down. Now some of you might wonder, how do I actually go about and search and know what's actually out there? Well, after you figure out your strength and the general area that you might be interested in pursuing, you should first do some Google search to narrow down your options a little bit and just get more background information in general. And then try to join clubs or organizations or volunteer for places inside or outside of your school that have the same mission or have the same interests as your career aspirations. This is very helpful because you'll get to meet like-minded people, you'll get to network and make connections, and these places that you join often will host seminars, webinars, or events that they will invite speakers that probably had similar paths than you and they will share their stories to how they get to their current respective positions today. And if you're having trouble finding organizations inside of your school, LinkedIn is another good place to look. Lastly, I just wanna say we're given a lot of pressure having to find the right path for the rest of our life at such a young age. But career path is never linear, and I think we should be allowed to take the time to search, to explore, to find out what's out there, to find out what we like. And I think the best plan is to just to find out the general area that you're interested in and actively look for opportunities so that you can get involved and just take it day by day. And don't forget that we're all in this journey together. Good luck. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!